Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. I am on Chinchilla Leaks. If you want to follow along, this is part two of the Monster Legends sneak peek. I wanted to break it up because there's a ton of information. The other stuff is kind of old, so you guys might have already seen that, so I did a separate video. The stuff in this video is relatively new, so maybe you haven't seen it yet. We basically have the movesets for Master Rats, for Dark ER, for Pandakin, and for Wingsu, oh, and Boronaut. So we have five new monsters to go over. Let's see what these corrupted monsters are. Are they good? Are they not good? Is this going to be like when Social Point released Mythic Monsters for the first time and everyone saw the skill sets and they're like, these monsters are bad. But really, it's their stats that make up for it. So it's fine if their, if their skills aren't like crazy or anything. Let's just jump into it. So Master Rat, I believe, is the Marathon Monster. Moderate Light Damage. Applies double damage to an ally, gives 50% of stamina. Deals moderate light damage, applies vulnerable to all enemies. Deals low light damage to all enemies, applies water, light, and fire weakness. Uh, and anytime I see those kinds of skills, I get zombie pit vibes. Um, applies stamina region and damage boost to all allies. Removes negative effects from all allies and applies precision. I mean, anything that can cleanse is always good. Removes negative effects from an ally, gives one extra turn. Gotta love that extra turn skill, especially when you cleanse. Uh, deals heavy light damage, removes positive effects from an enemy, applies vulnerable to an enemy. Okay, so you can maybe cleanse from one of your allies and then get rid of like Megaton from the enemy. Moves positive effects from all E. Applies triple damage to all allies during one turn and gives stamina back. Honestly, looking at the skill set, not too crazy. I can I can definitely understand that emoji. Just not too crazy. Yeah, I mean the cleansing is nice, right? This is nice. You also get increased accuracy. Being able to single target and cleanse, give yourself an extra turn is nice. Um, but when you look at his other skill set, I guess you buff your attacker, you get rid of whatever negative effects your attacker may have, and then you give him double damage, right? Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I wonder what his, I wonder what, what, it, I, I, I have to wonder, like, what are the obscure talents gonna do? What are the, like, can he become better with the obscure talents? Or, or what? Because just looking at the skill set, nothing too crazy. And maybe he has a really good trait? All right, Dark ER, let's see, he has thumbs up. So let's see, low dark damage, deals moderate dark damage to one enemy, applies nightmares, deals moderate dark damage, applies nightmares to all enemies, applies bleed, applies curse, so lots of dots. This is a dot monster. Deals heavy dark damage, applies bleed, deals heavy dark damage, applies bleed and nightmares, applies curse and shock. Ooh, they threw in that shock out of nowhere. So it's interesting. To me, I look at him and I'm like, eh, nothing too crazy. Um, but players really like him. I guess it's when you compare him to like the other monster we've seen. Um, all I really see here is he has an AOE curse and then he has single target. But you wouldn't want to do this one because you'd reinstate the curse. So I guess one enemy monster by turn two would have the bleed, the nightmares, and a curse if you start off with AOE curse. Alright, but it looks like the dark monsters are always the better ones in Monster Legends. Deals heavy dark damage to all enemies, applies curse, shock, and nightmares. Keep in mind, shock can also stop extra turners, so that could prove useful. Alright, let's see what... Okay, Panikin, the moment we've been waiting for. Is this monster going to be good? Is he going to be groundbreaking? Let's find out. So, if anything, he might have Panikin skills, like regular Panikin skills. Um, deals moderate fire damage to an enemy, applies burn. Heals its up by 40%. Yep, that's that's OG Panikin. Applies possession to an enemy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You get a possession. You get a deny skill. Deals low fire damage, AoE burn. Moderate nature damage applies life regen to itself. Moderate nature damage applies stun. Alright, you have your you have your possession and you have your stun. So if you don't kill, you can deny. Low nature damage applies stun. You have AoE stun. Deals low fire damage, applies possession and stun. You have how what? How do I already have an applies possession and stun? How do we have a possession and stun already? Like even the cosmic era, I don't think we had a, a Kihaku, right? We never we never got that. We never got a monster that can possession freeze, that can stun freeze. But this monster, first corrupted monster, can do possession and stun in one single AoE skill. Wow. So aside from that, again, you have that single stun and you have that single possession. Aside from that, you can do dot damage with the burn. His ultimate deals heavy fire damage and mega stun to everyone. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing about this, though. If it it's the exact same, it's... The, the thing is, there's still Megaton monster in the game. So as cool as it is to have this monster, the fact that if you were to go first in the turn order, the enemy cosmic is going to absorb the possession and stun, the cosmic Megaton monster, it's kind of like, eh, it's still not useful. I think what might end up happening is if these monster stats are that powerful, right, and we've seen them right here, the difference, 
um, they might be able to OTK even when they're not meant to be attackers. Remember when Ignis got released and people were using him as an attacker? Or Miserus, right? Do you guys remember Miserus? He's there for resurrection and people running with strength runes. I think that's going to happen a lot with the Corrupted Monsters for a while. Um, yeah, but I like him. He's cool. If if you can have him go second in the turn order, if you have someone to cleanse first, watch, like, maybe you run, since this is a race monster, and players are probably going to get this monster rank 3, rank 4, rank 5. If you have this monster go first in the turn order, you have him remove Megatons, then you can have Panda King go and do the possession and stun, right? And then, again, they have higher stats, and then you have the dot damage and stuff. You can boost, you can give double damage. Like, there's, I think there's going to be ways to make it work, but it's going to be interesting for the first few weeks. Yeah, Fire Controller and Sun. I gotta say, I was not expecting that. When you think of Panikin, you don't think of a control monster. But now he went corrupted, and now he is all all about possession and stunning. Let's see. Faye Malice tried to use Corrupting Root to make Panikin evil, but her attempt went wrong. Corruption only removed the residual evil every monster has inside them and made him pure. Now this panda is no longer a gold order. I love that Social Point made a reference to the fact that Panikin is a gold slave. He's Sensei Panikin, a pure monster filled with wisdom and strength. Oh my god, I love this. This this is the best part of this video. That is amazing. Gosh, that's awesome. Alright, Wing Su. Moderate water damage to one enemy. Deals low water damage to all enemies. Deals moderate water damage to all enemies. Applies drawn to all enemies. Requires cooldown. Ooh, I see extra turns. Normally the water monsters have always been good in Monster Legends too. Deals low water uh, water damage, applies guard down. Ooh, guard down makes so your attacks always land, and you give yourself an immediate extra turn. Deals moderate water damage to an enemy, gives one extra turn to itself. That is two extra turn skills. I wonder what the cooldown on those skills is going to be. Removes all tortures and applies... How do we already have an area dodge monster? Removes all tortures and applies area dodge to itself. What in the world? Already. Deals heavy water damage, applies guard down to all enemies. Again, your attacks always land. Deals very heavy water damage. Heavy water damage, very heavy water damage. Applies drown to an enemy. My goodness. So, you start off with precise to make sure your attacks land. You deal mo moderate water damage, just cause. And then, um, you could do a support skill or a protection skill from an enemy AoE skill. Or you should go after that strong damage output, right? Ninjutsu. Heavy water damage and drown on top of that. That's cool. You also have your AoE drown. Deals heavy water damage, applies drown, applies area dodge to itself. I like this monster a lot. I think this is a monster that was like, it's going to be Voltic. Like, um, he did have two extra turn skills, so that's interesting. All right, I'm going to guess that this moderate water damage skill has like a three turn cooldown. Maybe a two turn cooldown, but I'm feeling more like three. I'm feeling three. There might be two. This might be two and this might be two. And you might be able to cycle three skills every turn. All right, but let's go on to the next one. Bore, bore not moves that. Oh no, he has the poop emoji. Twenty-four people and the the crying laughing emoji. Nine people. Oh no, oh no, this guy's gonna be bad. All right, let's see. Deals moderate magic damage. Deals low magic damage. Applies life regen to itself. Requires cooldown. Doubles the maximum life of itself. Heals itself by fifty. Gives fifty percent of stamina to itself. Deals heavy magic damage. Absorbs fifty percent of damage received. Deals heavy magic damage to an enemy, applies double healing to itself, applies bleed hater, uh, and gives magic damage to an enemy, requires cooldown. Alright, this is interesting. If you if you can have another ally... Wow, okay guys. Um, Before we discount this guy, if you can have an ally bleed, maybe you have Fumpy Dostro and she does bleed. When you do Iron Smell, that's triple damage, right? Because you apply the bleed hater before dealing the heavy magic damage so this could be a really formidable attack depending who your teammate is maybe we get a status caster bleed against the enemy team right um to me this obviously screams tank so maybe this monster will have taunt maybe even though it's the start of the corrupted era maybe it starts to game off with taunts maybe he might even have a status caster mega taunt who knows um it's it's funny because sometimes a trait can really make or break a monster so it's going to be interesting to see what this guy has but I am predicting like rank 3 status caster, 50% um, life shield or something like that. Or 100% life shield or maybe even a damage protection. Um, I definitely see this monster having tough, 35% chance to negative negative effects. And maybe taunts. That's what I'm going with. Um, but yeah, Corrupted Era Season 1 Survival Dungeon. There's the Survival Dungeon, blah, blah, blah. Alright guys, so we went over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 new monsters. Let me know in the comments below which monster are you most excited about, which monster surprised you, any other thoughts you have. Or you know what, list in, in order from best to least, from best to worst, 
Who are you most excited about? Who do you think is the best of these five monsters we went over? Any thoughts in the comments below? Thank you guys very much. And remember to subscribe.